In this video, we're going to explain why you should be collecting emails at your next pop-up market. We're going to give you three tips that you can take advantage of so that your pop-up market is a success no matter what kind of day you're having. I'm Scarlett Pons. I'm the owner of Scarlett Wares. I'm a ceramic artist and a potter. And I'm Gabriel Pons. I'm a painter and muralist. We're the owners of Pond Shop Studio and Gallery. We don't buy gold or guns. We, we sell, sell art. art. <laughs> For all you makers and artists that are watching this video, congratulations and thanks for doing what you're doing. The world needs more artists. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit the notification button so that you can be alerted to our new videos. Now on to our tips. So tip one, the importance of an email list. Why collect emails? You're doing all the hard work of making it easier for people to contact and follow you through your social media. But marketing is a two-way street. By creating an email list, you'll have a personal line to directly communicate with existing and potential customers and fans. Now, from a small business standpoint, it's all about gaining one customer at a time and growing that relationship. Email lists aren't just data. It's a way of collectively building your client list over time. Now make sure to watch this video to the end because we're going to show you exactly what we use to collect those emails. Now tip number two, how do you collect those emails? You're going to ask for a person's email if they have purchased from you or not. Now if someone has bought an item from you that day at your pop-up market, then this is a super easy ask because they already like your work. They're already digging what you're doing. So make sure they do not leave that table until you have asked them to join your email list. Now, the approach I usually take is super simple and it's asking them, hey, would you like to join my email list? And by joining, I will keep you up to date on my latest work, my latest shows, all the creative things I'm doing. And nine times out of 10, this is a yes. Think of it as inviting them to join your fan club and having exclusive access to your artwork and what you do. Remember, this is a way for non-creative people to have a look into your exciting and creative world. Now, even if someone is at your table and they're admiring your work and you have struck up a simple conversation with them, you should still invite them to be on your email list, even, right, Gabe? Even, even yeah. if it looks like that person is not gonna make a purchase from you that moment or that day. Now, I use a similar approach um, in asking them if they would like to stay up to date when I'm launching new work on new shows, like the next show I'm gonna be at, other creative activities. And again, most people are gonna say yes. They're gonna be excited that you have asked them to be a part of your world. Finally, step three is mindset, investing in your long game. Remember that creating an email list is a long-term investment. You have the ability to grow a genuine customer base, and there's only one way to do this, and it's about retaining one person at a time. You have to do this every opportunity that you have at every market. Even if you have a slow day with sales on your market day, if you've walked away with 10 new emails, then that is 10 potential long-term customers. Exactly. Now I'm gonna show you exactly what we've used over 17 years to collect emails. And here it is. It is just a notebook. Do not overthink this step. Now we have used something similar to this at every show, every craft market, every pop-up. We even use something like this at our store. It lives on our front desk. For the same reason I mentioned before, if someone is talking to us, they're interested in what we're doing, they're just not ready to make a purchase that day, we have collected their email so that we can stay in touch with them and invite them into our world. So now, if you found this video helpful, then subscribe to our channel, like this video, hit that notification button so that we'll let you know when our next video comes out. So stay creative and don't give up.